In a city of hidden gems. And certainly we have bayous and we have swamps. Beyond this concrete fortress. But to imagine a coastline and see the beach, that was there. Lies a historic site. It was where we could go and see a real beach. Created out of hate. Total segregation in New Orleans. But shaped into a safe haven. It was our, our little piece of heaven. Mona Lisa Saloy has fond memories of Lincoln Beach. It was an amusement park where we could go on rides. And for me, a girl from the neighborhood, it was the big pool, an Olympic-sized pool. That was a long day trip, as though you were going to another parish. We caught three different buses, but to get there and experiencing the Black Beach, it was great. Those feelings forever documented in the poem named after the man-made site. My sister took us little ones to Lincoln Beach, the Negro Beach, on Lake Pontchartrain's shore of 3,000 mini-me kids laughing. The site opened in the late 1930s with a massive renovation in 1954. About 10 years later, the beach closed. Since then, it's been on the decline. Lincoln Beach our beach, now decayed and deserted like old Jim Crow laws, but standing barely crippled since closed. How it is today, I, I really think it's like a crime of neglect that something so beautiful, people had so many memories over there that it just like shut down and let go. But there's a new community push to recreate that nostalgia. We're gonna go down, we call it Trail One mm -hmm. to Beach One. Sage Michael is in that number. I would have never thought that all this was back here. And you can see yeah. still like the structures you from see? what it was. Tell me some of the work that you've been doing to kind of restore Lincoln Beach. I know you've been partnering up with a lot of different community um, activists and organizers as well to really kind of restore it to what it was and then some. I started cleaning up one bag at a time, partnering with community members. We say this has to happen and it's happening. So we have over $25 million of funding in the bank and we made sure that money is sitting in the bank. I'm so excited. I'm excited about other news too, like historical uh, designation moving forward. Yeah, that's too. huge. That's gonna be huge for long-term preservation for it. How does that make you feel? Because I know you were kind of involved in that process as well. You know, I, I'm goofy. <laughs> I, I, I'm goofy, so I, I, I jump with joy. Why does the city need this? Why does the city need Lincoln Beach? because it's an asset unlike no other in Louisiana. What's your long-term goal? What do you hope for when you think about the future of Lincoln Beach? Uh, the future of Lincoln Beach, I, I want to see, like it used to be, a busloads of people from the region used to come over here. I want to be able to walk these lands like I've been doing, giving people tours. I want to be able to get in my kayak and let's go kayak the shores and teach and walk the water with the children with the kayaks. I want to just sit back against the tree and watch people enjoy the work that the community done. That's heaven on earth for me right there. In terms of the Negro Beach, I see it as our paradise. A past paradise brought back to life. Leah McNeil, Eyewitness News.